Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts. We are here in Frankfurt for the SAP event and we've got young sensation Leighton Bennett. Leighton, first of all, how are you and what's it like to be here in Frankfurt playing against so many top class players? Absolutely awesome. What, what an incredible lineup it is here and what an amazing venue as well it is. And it, it's been a great day today, I've absolutely loved it. And to, to be one of the best players that's ever been around has literally completed everything I wanted to achieve in darts really. <laughs> I've always wanted to play him and I've always wanted to beat him. And when, when, I beat, when, he, when I went up 5-4 at London Tower I knew I can take legs off him. And especially when I beat him just then that's just made my day. But it's made my life. <laughs> As well, I know you've been sat around you've been talking to the likes of Wayne Mardell, Michael Van Gogh and Peter Wright, Gary Anderson have you just been trying to get every little nugget of valuable information you can out of them? Well, they're the people to listen to. They're on TV every week. They're there for a reason. And whatever you get off them, you need to listen to, really, because they're, they're the ones they know. And that's why they're there at the end of the day. And if I take every bit of advice that like they did to me just then, like Peter Wright told me to stay until they've collected all the darts out of the board, and I did that against Phil. It, it helped me, to be fair. I felt a lot more relaxed than I, on the stage as well. Obviously, only 13, and you've rose to darting stardom, shall we say, that everyone in the darting industry, and probably bigger than that, knows who you are. How have you dealt with that, and, what, and what's it like that everyone knows who you are? I, I love it, to be fair. It's amazing. I, I get a massive buzz from it. I really just enjoy everything that comes up because I just enjoy everything while it's there because it's not always going to be like this for me. So there's always an end to it. Seasonal-wise, how would you sum up your season and, and the highlights so far? Oh, I've had a great year this year, I think. It's not even near the end yet, so there's many great more things to come. And I can't thank SAP, Nevada and RBS much more and especially Target as well they've all helped me massively from the, the very start and to do something like this as well I'll never far be able to do something like this. Might be wrong mathematical wise but only about 52 ranking points away from being confirmed at Lakeside is that right? It's about 52 yeah because uh, I got told that you need about 170 so I think if I qualify I'll be over the moon and especially getting stage experience like this where there's noise and everything behind you I think I could go up there and do some good, and especially because I've been at Lakeside as well before, I knew what everything is and whereabouts it is, and what it's all about. So, even at a young age, is there any doubt in your mind that you're ready that you could win Lakeside at this age? Well, on my day, I can beat anyone. It's in my head that, and I, especially to beat someone like Phil Taylor as well. I, I know if I turn up on the day, I can win anything, and if I don't turn up, if then it won't. But. I know on my day I can win anything and I, I believe that in myself and I've got the game to as well I think and my averages and stuff like that. The JDC as well, is that helping you along the way? Yeah, J JDC is absolutely amazing what they do and uh, you've got some great cracking youths playing there as well and you always get a game there as well so there's some top players in that. How do you stay grounded as well obviously because there's only certain events you can play in being your age and is that a little bit frustrating because I'm guessing you'd like to play in everything yeah especially after tonight I'm just dying to get in the PDC now I can't wait till I'm 16 to just enter it because playing Peter right just then and he, he become back off stage and he's just telling me that I'm quality and stuff like that That's, that just makes me feel ever so happy and I, I never want to give the game in now because what they say I just take that on board and I just think right I'm that good they're realising what I'm doing I suppose double-edged sword as well, that you also will keep your feet on the ground in terms of schooling and things like that, that you've got to get that right as well. Is that something that you consciously make sure you still do? Oh, yeah, well, it's very important as well because you, you don't know what could happen when I get to 16, 17. And you, but hopefully, obviously, darts works out and I'm on the PDC like all them lads. As well, are you hoping that they maybe lower the development tour age to maybe 14, say, so you could plan it? It'd be amazing if they drop it down. Yeah, I think if you're old and... I think if you're good enough, you, you're old enough, to be fair. Like, age is just a number, and, and especially playing in stuff like this, you would have thought they would drop the age limit even to 14. But once I start PDC, I'll be so, putting in so much more effort and stuff in the game because I, I just want to be there. As well, if you obviously, if you qualify for Lakeside, would you try and win both titles, the youth and the men's still, or would that be too much to, to do? 
Uh, well, there's always a chance, isn't there? If you're in it, then you've got a chance to win it. And I think if I qualified for them both, like the men's, I'd, I'd be so happy and buzzing. I, all I need is one win just to set me off on there, and I think I'll be very fine. Leighton, it's an absolute pleasure to spend time with you chatting here in Frankfurt, and we wish you all the very best for the rest of the year and really hope you qualify for Lakeside, mate. Thank you ever so much. Cheers, buddy.